Hi, this is F Strike Jazz, and you are watching Under the Radar. Today, we are here with D.H., the hit writer. Yes, yes, thank y'all for having me. Okay, so you sing, rap, and write. What do you like to do? Um, out of the three like what is your favorite songwriting is my absolute favorite it's just something about um, telling my story myself and also lending my story to other people so that's my favorite so can you describe your music style to us my music style is my personal journey um, the things that I dealt with growing up, the things that I've had to overcome, such as uh, depression. Um, but I'm a versatile artist as well. I love to party, have a good time, um, but I also like to educate. You know, it's not all, all just about turning up. You gotta get a little serious and, you know, talk about things that are going on socially in the world. What are some of your inspirations? Tupac is my my favorite rapper, definitely. Um, Tupac, Michael Jackson, and Lauryn Hill. So those are my favorite people. Things. Hmm. I'm inspired by a lot of things. <laughs> okay, what's one of them? Women. Mm -hmm. um, sports. I love sports. The atmosphere and environment when you go to a club. It's really inspiring to me. The drinks, the effects that drinks have on people, and the bass. There's nothing like going in the club and feeling the bass. Yeah. You be like, mm, especially with the right drink. Yeah. <laughs> you put a lot of bass in your songs? Hmm. Sometimes. Depends on the mood of the song. You know, it can't be necessarily having too much bass if I'm talking about a sad love song. Right, right. You know, Kanye did it though, 808 and Heartbreak, but I guess I'm not on that level yet. <laughs> right. so how did you get into rap? Um, poetry. I wrote a poem at a young age. I always struggled with being able to write. Then I started writing poetry and I actually turned one of my poems into a song. It was called A Prayer for My Mama. I was stressed out. She was too, so I wrote that for her. And I let my family hear it. And seeing how they reacted, I was like, okay, I might have something with this music thing. You know, I'm going to keep pushing it. So what are some of your goals with music? Music is a tool for me. Um, my actual goals are to be a motivational speaker. Um, I hope to become a spokesperson for depression and or suicide. Um, I also want to own multiple businesses as well as nonprofits. That's cool. Are you working on any projects right now? I actually am. Um, I lost a friend to breast cancer, yes. Um, I haven't even released the song yet. It's called All About You. Um, I'm going to dedicate the, vid the video to her. She was a, a lesbian as well. And, you know, throughout her struggle, her and her partner were pretty much isolated. So I really want to tell their story. I'm looking forward to the world seeing this great piece of artwork that I'm going to be doing. It's actually going to be a short film, you know, because a lot of LGBT youth and people, period, are going through not having the support of their, their family, which they need. Like, do you get most of your fans from them, or is it, like, all around? I believe right now most of my fans are um, the LGBT community. But it's crazy because when I go out, I don't just do LGBT events. So I do get love from everybody, but, you know, my target, the LGBT community. You can catch me on Twitter, Instagram, DH underscore the hit writer. Um... I'm actually getting ready to launch a website, dhthehitwriter.com. We're shooting for January, so just stay tuned. There's a lot of great things coming up. Thank you all for having me. Uh, I really enjoyed this opportunity, and I look forward to more.
Well, thank you. Tune in next week to Under the Radar for new interviews.